give this a minute to go through. All right, hello everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. How's everyone doing? Uh, we're gonna jump straight back into this. We got a lot of record tonight uh, along with this. We just got fresh off recording Resident Evil 3 a little while ago. I am ungodly sick tonight. I don't know what's going on. It's probably the lack of sleep. <laughs> but I got some water with me because I'm super dehydrated tonight also. So let's jump straight into this and uh, let's have some fun. I believe last time we were in the sewer was where we stopped. Just a second here. Alright, we got a lot to record tonight, so let's do this. A map of the area. Perfect. Convenient. <laughs> All right. There's that hip pouch in there. Oh. We gotta get there somehow. I want that hit pouch. Oh, what was that? I ain't about no fucking sewer gator again. I left that shit in Resident Evil 2. Increased sewer security. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of this facility. In response, we were replacing the aging. Aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electrical locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery packs on hand at all times when moving through the facility. Well, I don't fucking have one of those. Budge. Looks like it needs a power source. We're going down. Oh god. I'm definitely burning these clothes. It's not so bad. It's the forbidden juice. Oh hell no! Made crate flame rounds. Okay, that just sounds fun. Research assistance logs. March 4th, water temp. Gamma's released from the tank for the first time. Movement sluggish, combat potential low. April 8th, experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment or positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. June 30th, Umbrella has officially shut down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab for disposal. Dr. Logan Car Carlissa is more committed than ever to forming the Gamma Line. You're perfecting the Gamma Line. 
August 14th. Two weeks since relocating the sewers increased, temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gamers quickly learned the layouts of the sewers, and within two days we're exploring the entire Grand Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. December 1st. We were lucky to secure this space by bringing, by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. September 9th. The water treatment worker found his way into the lab. The game has promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Voice from Gun Shop Kendo. Thank you for purchasing the XXXXX grenade launcher. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types for optimal performance. Be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is this is a refurbished model, and the chamber needs menu will be cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment for this reflected towards the price of the screen. Handwritten note on reverse. Okay. Mine rounds? Two A's is explosive, A plus B is explosives, and two B's is A acid. Okay. Oh, hello. That is fucking big. Jesus Christ. That is fucking huge. What the fuck? I'm gonna gamble that we don't get hit. Kill you? Okay, that's an instant death. That's kind of nice. Ugh. Where does this take us? Great gunpowder. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, give me just a sec. I'm sneezing like a fucking motherfucker. A love letter. My little darlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I found myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with... Sorry, fucking got distracted. Brimming with incredible destructive power, and of course, that voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the premise, pinnacle of the Hunter series, and yet they ordered me to destroy you. 
He said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Have you ever heard of character flaws? So it is those very flaws that make you so very, very, very precious to me. We'll show them yet. Down here, we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved hunter, Gammas, are truly superior. Sorry, my nose is running like a motherfucker. Well, that sucks. I can't take that herb. If I'm able to come back around for it, we'll get it. Oh, hello there. Sewer workers now. It's happening again. They got Kane this time. I saw it all. One of those things just swallowed him whole, head to toe. Tried to warn them when Bill went missing two weeks back. The cop said he'd probably skip town, but I said no way. Not not with this baby coming any day. Did they listen? Nope. This is bullshit. Fucking puke, break, breathing, toad face motherfuckers. Every time I think I've lost them, another one pops up out of the tunnels, and it's not like I can count on the fucking cops. Don't trust those pencil pushers at HQ either. Next time one of those freaks shows its face, I'm gonna hit it right in its big, ugly mouth. Of course. How'd that go for you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to come back this way, because... Sorry guys. These things are really fucking annoying. I think I'd rather fight the regular hunters. Come on. Fuck with me, bro. Fuck around and find out. Oh fuck, I wasted it. I'm sorry, did I miss something else down here? God damn it. Well, three more things we gotta come pick up. need to get back to the fucking storage. Hmm. 
Okay, actually, if I leave... Oh, wait, no, there's still stuff in the security room, the fight. Oh, gunpowder. Go back and just put a bunch of shit up, and then let's go get those items we left. Just make sure we get everything. Here. I'm pretty sure we left like three things, but just to make sure. Can you go? I'm hitting A. Go down the ladder. The fuck? Still says there's something in those tunnels. Or maybe that's just for the opposite end. Maybe it would show the whole tunnel. No, there's still something down by the ladder. What? Oh! Hey, yo! I'll take it! Fuck it! Alright, that's everything down here. Guys, give me just a second. My dog is, I think, growling at my door. I'll be right back.
Alright, sorry about that, guys. I don't know what my dog was doing. I go I was down here it's right Let's just let's just take shit out and let, let's figure out what the fuck we're doing. So we need B. What's up here? Oh, that's right, the door's locked because fucking bitch boy ran in. And then, that's right, this door. Just a sec, sorry guys. Alright. Well, the battery's there, so I can't use that no more. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. The subway's ready to go. <laughs> I'll leave as soon as you make it back. Send the text real quick, guys. Oh, so I've been playing Albion online again recently, and damn, is it fun! Just a sec, guys. Alright. Ah, damn my nose. Back up we go. Is that all for the sewer segment? Oh, hello! Oh, 
Evidently so. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, I gotta send another text. Why is that just suddenly on fire? I gotta get out. Quick. You're really pissing me off. <laughs> oh, hold it. God damn it. Give me a sec, guys. It's- I'm- I've lost sound. I really hate this controller. Sorry guys, this controller really gets fucking annoying, but I think I've got it fixed, it shouldn't fucking disconnect for no reason again. Can you like, chill bro? Fire is appearing everywhere. Fire does not spread this bad. Well, I guess he has a flamethrower. <laughs> also, going up in this scenario is just a bad idea. <laughs> Come on, Jill. Tell you what Resident Evil game I can't wait for, Code Veronica. I've got it ready uh, for when we finish this one. All right, I'm guessing this is for the boss. So we're gonna grab that. Notice of demolition delay. Notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest for safety reasons. All electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for safekeeping. Entry to the premises prohibited until the current unrest has subsided. All employees are to stay at home and wait further instructions. 
So there's generators up here I can shoot. Cool. I have fire rounds, but he has a flamethrower, so I don't know how effective this is gonna be. Oh, hello. <laughs> How did you dodge again? How do I dodge? Just kill me. God fucking damn it. I went for the shotgun Joe thinking he couldn't hit me. I gotta forget what the fudge the fuck the dodge button is. I thought it was aiming an A. But evidently it's fucking not. I did it like four times. Oh, okay. I got it now. Don't you go up that fucking ladder. Alright, we're gonna get everything, and then we're gonna really start fighting. Alright, right, so let's start with this side. Okay, listen. Maybe I can hit the fuel tank.
Okay, you son of a bitch. Why you gotta dodge everything I got? Is it done? Is, is he dead? <laughs> God, that sucked ass. <laughs> Speaking of ass, Hello? bro, whooped it's mine. Jill. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You all right? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Yeah, fuck him. Yourself in debate. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. I don't think he's dead. Kendo's around here? Yeah, uh, Kendo's is down there. Oh, RPD. Can I see Leon down here? I really wish I had a fucking flashlight. At this point, Leon would be here, question mark? Alright guys, thought I smelled smoke there for a minute. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Fuck you! Kaboom! Shit, Jill! Kendo, you're alright. You're all all right to stretch. Sorry I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You win? Subway? Well, that's good thinking. When we we all out, know what Kendo's doing. We could use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Well, look. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements. Okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. 
we both know what happens though. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Oh, right. no! That's a good girl. We are. Right, so I knew no. We still have to do the uh, uh, the survivor thing for two. I just I've been trying to do them. I've just been having a really hard time with Kendo's and the other one. <laughs> There's so many videos I haven't uploaded of me just getting my shit rocked. I could have put that herb in here. God damn it. I don't think we need the knife right now. Yeah, we've got that. Alright. Is that not everything in Kendo's? Oh. Is that not everything the fuck? Oh, explosive B. I'll take it. Alright, that's everything. Hi, Kendo. So this is before Leon gets here. Girl is still alive. <laughs> For all you guys don't know what that is, gotta go check out my Resident Evil 2 playthrough. For the sadness that that is. Oh fuck! I thought that may have been like a way down. I'm sorry. What? Just for that. Where to go here? That goes outside. Okay, let's walk upstairs. Record Times Reader's Column. Dear Editor, I'm writing you because I am troubled dear you, dear, I am troubled deeply. Anyone who's been parent knows that Crystal Fem Promodia is the place to take your kids to a trip downtown on Saturdays. There's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No, if heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles. Fuck, we have to go outside to get the fucking black bag. We have to go back. Wasting grenade launcher rounds like a dumbass. I'm just saying, if Jill went down to the nest, she could probably fuck some shit up. Kendo, you sure you don't want to come, buddy? Um, 
that's like mid-tier painting. Oh, wait, why am I going this way? I need to go open that. The fuck am I doing? Please be something good. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? You son of a bitch. Drop a case. He didn't. Shit. <laughs> Unless it's I saw him again. Yeah, fuck you, dude. I didn't need to do that, but like, still, fuck you. Fucked up. Here we go. All right, enough leaning on shit. We need to go. Oh, great. First aid spray. I fucking love it. So glad. Is there anything I can get here? Fucking dead end. All right, good. I want to fight him again. Let me go. Oh, hey. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station and lead him right to you. It's okay. Trust me. Not Jim's crabs. Sucks because there's something over here. Jill, this way. <laughs> <laughs> what the 
a fucking claymore. Okay. That stops it, but my grenade launchers to the face Go. don't do anything. Go. Come on, forget about him. I mean, let's not forget about him. It's a constant problem. Come on, let's get out of here. Like, let, let's work together. Let's just kill him. Let's just end it. All right. There's like, there's two, there's like, the Nick, let's go get Nikolai. And he's allergic to Russians. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, hey, you'll be safe. What about you? Uh, from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Carlos, buddy, please come with me. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. I'm not going to die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. <laughs> I you love that. Find this scientist. His vaccine I want a whole game about Carlos. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. I want a whole game about Carlos. Just Carlos. Just resident Carlos. You don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> what was that? It's obviously a bad guy. Oh, well. How is this fucker not No more dead? civilians! No, they're gone. Come, this way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after me. <laughs> Nikolai! Oh, fuck you, Nick. Fuck you, Nikolai. No! Oh, man, no! Get off my train. Shit, bird! Fuck everything. <laughs> you know, Nemesis gets around real quick. Man's got like a prime membership at Planet Fitness. Bro's got the exercise. I'm sure, like, old guy's fine. I've survived getting shot by fucking rockets and burns. Really, he can survive a break a C4 right on Subway's top of him. gotta be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. All right. Give me just a sec.
Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. <gasps> oh. <Are> you sure? <laughs> My boy. Two hundred. Like cemetery to me. Fuck yeah. The question is, is this before or after Leon and Claire? Brad, stop! T. Come on, man. Not you too. Oh, this is how Morgan gets fit. Sorry. Sorry. You stay on he the door. Said sorry, though. I got this fucker. Come get some. You don't understand how happy I am to do this, Brad. It's open. He starves. That could be useful. This is for the mansion, you lazy dick. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Okay. Rear security, Brad Vickers. Oh, well, you know, he can arrest me. God, it feels weird being back in here after two. <laughs> oh, what time is it? Should we keep going? Fuck it, we'll keep going for a little while. Now longer. here's a weird. We're like Fucking 61 door. minutes in. Leave it. We're here for Bard. ID card security protocols, September 16th, 1998. Each member of the forest has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it lost immediately. RPD facility maintenance department. Oh, thank god I grabbed this fucking card. Ah, of course. Just, just the, just a box of bullets. Alright, I guess. What was that? Oh, that's the guy with the split mouth. Couldn't have been a zombie. And there's hanging guy. Okay. All coming up, Leon, Resident Evil Two. <laughs> I did 
I don't think I exactly have the stopping right. power to we go. kill the liquor. Okay, game. I'm so sorry. My aim is dog shit, everyone I know. Okay, bro, fuck off. Dick. Right. Big, warm RPD welcome. I'll take a flashbang. Fuck it. Or assault rifle ammo. Team, you copy? There's something real nasty Locker in here. Locker room. Cap. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. I hate this so much. <laughs> you done? God, I'm talking to this game. Fuck both of you. Another one out here. Fuck you too. Oh my god! Oh, that's actually really nice. Welcome, Leon. 
September 20th, the rest report. Name, Robert Gray. Occupation, unemployed, former electrician. Charges, unlawful creation of and or possession of explosive. Narrative, suspect has been behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive, a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrests on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. The suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. The suspect spoke favorably of when questioning began at one point. Questioning had to be halted due to sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, the suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for myself. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpse attacks from the shadows. The corpse attacks from the shadows. The storm's coming. This umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon, gotta hurry. Burn them, burn the corpses, burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and sedative administered. Now, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of doctors' investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's persons as residents appears to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device upon its administration. Admission into evidence. Betty was secured in the safety deposit room. Interrogation officer West Drucker. Look, I will Google passwords. Do not think I am beyond that when it comes to this. I don't mind. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Could just shoot the fucking doors, but that's all right. <laughs> I kind of fucked up shooting cops. <laughs> God, Carlos, uh, your humor is great. <laughs> Internal memo. December 22nd, 1998. Office supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistance, 3 number combination safe. Move to star's office, 2F to west office, first floor. Gumbo is left 9, right 15, left 7. Let's go do that real quick. Left 9, right 15, left 7. There we go. Oh, fuck yeah! Do I still have a dodge? I, I have a... I have a push with Carlos. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this, this little fucking dot thing is fucking nice. I don't have anything I need to put up, so I'm him. Well, if cameras killed those things, I'd be set. <laughs> also, I've got original Resident Evil 4 I want to play, since I don't, uh, I currently can't play the remake on, I, my brother owns it, you know, Wii Game Share and all that. He's got a newer console than I do. I love my, my old one. Drink my water. <sighs> Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that.
Oh wait, we do have this. That's right. Cat. Then to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you're out on patrol, I focus on finding a way to get out of the other side. I realize that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. Pretty sure I sent one to the safe deposit room during intake last week. We need to get we need that battery for going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safe deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell what you must why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that 600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh. We know he didn't make it out alive. Actually, no, no, maybe he did. Maybe he just left it upstairs. Okay, guess we'll be doing this the explosive I mean, I could way. just shoot the explosive. That would, in theory, do it, but... I'm glad fucking Nemesis ain't running around here, though. Not Nemesis, uh, Tyrant. This one is also cap. It is not cap. Which way are we going? Because there's no another way up here. Surely the battery isn't in the locker, or else there would have been like a thing, so. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why is it blocked? Alright, well, we've got the key now, so let's just go back. <laughs> I forget I have a shit bag. <gasps> Fuck me, God, that scared the piss out of me. Can you fucking just move? Okay, look, if you kill me here. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of ammo if I have to kill them every time, so I'm gonna need to find a way around those. Well, that key's over with. Oh, hi. Oh wait, you're not dead. Right, so there's the battery, and we got ammo. Got that. All right. So we need 104.
six. DCM. <sighs> fucking <sighs> gave me a fucking heart attack. Assault rifle bullets. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I mean, we'll be finishing up Resident Evil 5 soon. So got, oh, we're starting Amnesia Rebirth after this, by the way, guys. That, that's gonna come after this. They want us to join in on us for that.
Take a number. Oh. I thought I just stabbed you to death, though. Yes, it does, Carlos. Yes, it does. This is him again. God, I love Carlos's segment. It's just fighting, and I love it. Whew. Anything else over this one? There's the stars room. And that's that. Wesker gonna be in here. Oh, I crash. Doctor Bard. Oh, thank God! Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, I'm negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send send somebody who's <laughs> capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn them over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now, I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. This that will take some time. Jacket. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. On June 23rd, Stars Bravo Team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha Team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident accumulated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The 
T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation is permanent to be extremely difficult. Is that Jill in the front row? Good old stars. But they're all dead. I think now all that's left is Barry, Chris, and Jill. Wesker, technically, but, you know, he's a bad guy, so. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. You're fucking awesome. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, I know he's everyone's gonna die, but I love him. I don't know, I still prefer the original three. There were just the nemesis chases were so cooler. She'd radio Carlos immediately after waking up. Like, hey, Carlos, everything is fucked. <laughs> new weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks! I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the bass brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds, and these babies were developed by the Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even harder than the lower the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or on the ground, and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensors in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, they so basically just toss them in an enemy's path. You've got yourself a landmine. Mine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks, so get out there and fight dirty. I, I'm gonna... I'll keep one heal on me. And I don't feel like I'm gonna need this, because I feel like a boss fight's coming up. <laughs> Terrified of it, but I feel like a boss fight's coming up. My aim has not been on point. Come on.
still alive. I can't see. Oh, come here. on. I really should have brought more pistol bullets. It's fine. Escape the creature. This actually looks really nice. You know what game I really want to play on the channel? So I don't know if anyone remembers this, but there was a Resident Evil series called Resident Evil Outbreak. One of my all-time favorite games. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a brochure, brochure style building. I don't know the fuck. Whatever. Fuck that word. A building which stands near the heart of Raccoon City. has become a beloved icon and the residents consider it to be em emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. <laughs> erected. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification electrification over the course of the early 20th century. And the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Fortunately, the St. Michael's Elementary was shut shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed, this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown. But in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area. This time, with proper preservation efforts in place, the clock tower was officially reopened in 1993. Today, the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout the city. In other words, Umbrella put like a nuke in there or something. <laughs> Got two heals. That's everything. It seems like you put yourself on fire. Bitch can't even swim. <laughs> Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? It's back! Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! this. <laughs>
that. Hold on. Yeah, I say, would really suck if someone fucking did that, wouldn't it? That was awesome. Oh my god. Fuck that whole fight. Good old plaza. I cannot wait until you're dead. <laughs> You've done me a big favor, Miss. I hope I get to kill you myself. It's been a while, I don't remember. Oh, shit! <laughs> Chill ain't doing too good. <laughs> Roughly half a day! Jill! Me. Call me a zombie and come God along and damn it. me before then. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. Super cop.
fight it, Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. You're gonna be okay. I promise. You're not lucky. Can I? <laughs> Hear me out. Use gun. <laughs> Guys, I think we're going to call this episode here. If you liked it, guys, smash that like button. Go hit that subscribe button. I love this fucking game. <laughs> and God, Carlos is just the best. We need a whole... I want a whole series about him. Just Carlos does everything. But thank you guys for tuning in with me on this adventure so far. I think we're going to try to finish it all in the next video or the next couple ones. I'm going to go uh, start the Andesia Rebirth stream here in about... 5-10 minutes, Mike, if you guys want to hop in there and watch. Thank you everyone who came to watch this live. I uh, really appreciate everyone being here, coming to support the channel. Uh, go hit those subscribe, guys, for any new people to the channel. Uh, welcome. I don't know why the fuck I'm saying this at the end of the video. I'm tired. I'm about to go get some fucking coffee so I can record the next <laughs> fucking couple videos. But, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next adventure. Goodbye, everybody.